Okay, guys, you know what guys ask me all the time. They say, John, you've been in a lot of scraps. And, yeah, I have. And I've actually been really lucky. I've never lost a fight. But don't all you guys thinking, oh, God, I'm going to come on and challenge John and shit like that. But I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my philosophy on when you're getting into a, a confrontation, little things that will help you out uh, when things are going. Um, one of the things I watch, you get eye-to-eye -eye contact with the guy, especially if he's up uh, close to you. I will keep him at arm's length. If he starts moving in, I think something happened. I'll move over like I'm leaning on a chair. But if I'm leaning on a chair or I'm leaning on something, that thing I'm using as a weapon. Okay, so we're going back and forth. I can take the chair, boom, just slam him or whatever I have that it doesn't look like I'm reaching for my gun, my knife, my baton, you know, my taser or anything like that. You want to defuse it, you know. And remember, you get into a fight with a guy. Um, I learned a big lesson when I was a uh, bouncer that this guy, he was such a bad guy, I was going to just take it to him instantly when I saw him. Uh, it's a long story. But then my one buddy said, John, don't. Don't do it. And I'm down there going, I said, Spin, stay out of my way. Shit happens. Yeah. You know, you try to stick up for this guy, you know, shit's going to happen to you. You know, and he goes, no, John, he has hepatitis, and he had the worst one. And most guys are headhunters. They're thinking hitting them in the mouth and different stuff like that. So when you're in, the, in a fight, I don't give a shit what any of these guys say. Oh, you're standing up there and you're just going man to man. No, the whole thing is to take the fucker down as fast as you can and you're not getting any scrapes, nicks, broken bones or anything like that. So, like I say, when you're in a confrontation with a guy, keep things, you know, to where you're going to be uh, the winner. Have something in your hand. I don't care, you know, you're picking up a bottle. I mean, you can use that as a weapon. Uh, also, watch how, you know, aggressive they're doing. A lot of times, you'll see their cheeks. If they're punching down, you know, that's a good sign that they're going to punch. I, I was in a biker thing one day, and we were going at it back and forth. We were arguing, and I could see the guy clenching his jaw. And then right when I saw him clench, and he started moving a little bit, I popped him, so real fast. But he was, he was launching his punch. He got up about here. I was already up into it. And then I get bum, 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 bum. Uh, the other thing is, is if there's a group of guys in states, I was talking to Mitch Velos. You know, it's better to be judged by 12 than carried by six. So it's up to you how you deal with it. You got a group of guys coming at you. You got a gun. I would take the gun out, I would hold it down here, I'd be ready. And I'd tell them, I'd say, look, if any of you bastards move, we're going to have some problems. Uh, or you could take out your knife, you know, that could be a thing, and then switch hands. Okay? Because if someone's coming in at you, boy, you can cut and you just boom, 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 boom. Okay? So, um, but make sure things are stacked in your favor. That's why I carry all this shit. But I'm not an asshole. I'm not going out to people and trying to, you know, say, hey, look, I got all these weapons. I'm going to kick your fucking ass. You know, no. It makes you mellow. I mean, you've got to conceal weapons from me. You have to think more. Don't be an asshole. If something happens, the police come. I was in fear for my life. Hardly even talk to them. That's all you say. Okay? Uh, these bad guys... If something happens, you got to put it down as fast as you possibly can. If the, whatever you want to use, you know, if you want to use a baton, I'm not going to sit there and play with the guy and just act like I'm just fist of cuffs. I'm going to put him down as fast as I possibly can. I wrestled for years, I boxed, I did uh, different martial arts. You know, I have my way of doing shit, you know. But that's why I have all this crap on me, I can use it. I mean, I could take off my boot and use that as a weapon if I need But anyway, um, just thought I'd give you a little bit of Johnny Fitson philosophy. philosophy. Um, 
you know, the other thing is, if you think there's going to be trouble, like, let's say there's some guy standing over by my car, you know, I'm not going to be the big, brave Johnny Fitz and walk over there like I'm really tough, you know what I mean? I'm not going to go over by my fucking car. I mean, fuck that shit, you know? I'll go and have a cup of coffee, wait, watch these guys or whatever until they're gone. Stay out of trouble before you get into it. You keep your concealed weapons from it longer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> your face will be prettier and all the other stuff. Cause I've been in some real scrapes in my life, guys. Uh, I've told you guys some of the scrapes I've been in. And uh, but the reason I've won every time, everything stacked in my favor. And that's what you want. Even in your car, things that you have in there, you know, can help you out. So anyway, keep your edges sharp, your powder dry. See ya.